I'm going to show you how to connect the easy appointments with Google Calendar. First of all, uh, let's jump to the easy appointments settings page and there there as you can see the the client id the field is empty and the client secret is also empty in order to obtain those from google we need to create a google project and credentials that will allow us to connect with google calendar and the next step for that will be to go to the google developers console and there to create a project if you already doesn't have one so there is option for creating a new project but i already did that so have the demo project here and the next step would be to actually enable the the calendar api under this project in order to do that we need to go to the enable apis option there we need to search for the calendar Click on it and in a few seconds there will be an option to enable it. So click on the enable button and after a few seconds, so uh, of course there is a the name the Google Calendar API is enabled and the next step will be to go to create credentials. Uh, the difference from the previous video is actually the Google extended the, the, the way that user needs to uh, configure everything. So first you need to configure consent screen. And that screen is going to pop up to the user when user click on the authorize button. So when the user click here, the authorize, that credential screen will be presented to the user. So first of all, we need to set the credential screen i'm going to write here the demo screen and you can place the the, the logo the email the scope and other stuff of course you need to to place the home page where you going to host that screen and the the link to the privacy policy and and stuff like that but uh, for this demo i'm not going to do that because all those all the, all of those data is needed for the authorization process so keep in mind that when you enter the domain you need to have the authorized domain meaning that you need to prove to the google that you're actually our owner of that domain and uh, that process is done in the domain verification section for the demo purpose i'm fine with only entering the demo screen and clicking on the save button so you can hear you can here you can see the data that is added and are the 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 application granted from the google side the next thing would be to go to the credentials page and click on the create credentials uh, in order to use the, the, the Google Calendar, you need to select OAuth client ID and select the web section, name it. The name doesn't play any role here, but I will just call it demo. And there is a authorized JavaScript origins and authorized redirect URLs. Those value here will be copied from the is the appointment side so you need to for the host part copy to the first section and, and hit the enter key and the other two values needs to be edited in the redirect section Okay, when that is done, you will present it with your client ID and the client secret. So the copy the client ID and copy the secret and save it. Okay, by doing that, you can uh, go and authorize you with your Google 
account inside the easy appointments. So when you click on the authorize, you will be presented with that screen. And you remember that we enter the demo screen name. Once we select the Google account, it's going to pop up this notification saying that this application is not verified by Google yet. But even in that case, you can go to the advance and authorize it. So by clicking on this link, and it will ask you, does you give the, the permissions to access your calendar? Of course, you it's your application basically and you're allowing it. And once that is done, you can click on allow and it will actually store the credentials needed to easy appointments use the calendar data from your account and sync the events. You can easily test if everything is okay by going to the advanced calendar sync option at the bottom of the settings page, uh, settings page and clicking on add calendar. If everything is okay, your Google calendars will be listed in this select field. And after that, you can proceed creating the settings needed for your easy appointments. Thanks, and that will be it. If you have any questions, feel free to open the, the support thread on easy appointments support forum.